Hi, a quick installation video on our dash cams. So all you'll actually need is just a multimeter and then the tools to take off the covers for your fuse box. So uh, let me first explain the wiring. So this one goes to 12 volt positive, always power. And this one goes to 12 volt positive, uh, ignition power. Then you have a black wire that goes to ground. Then you have a green wire that, uh, that uh, switches the relay on and off. So what we want to do is you want to ground your multimeter somewhere. So I'm actually just going to ground it over here. And we want to measure on our fuse box. I've actually already located it. But you want to measure on your fuse box where you get 12 volts when the ignition is currently off. So I've actually narrowed it down to that specific position. Um, uh, there we go. That's 12 volts over there, I mean. Okay, so an, an important thing to note is that on those two legs, the voltage output is actually on the right hand side. So that's the side that we want the wire of this to go out. So it does not, so the load does not go through the fuse as well. So now that we've located 12 volts, we want to put that in. We'll replace that fuse. Uh, do that. Okay, like that. See with the, the wire coming out from the right hand side where we located the 12 volts. Um, now we want to look for ignition. So currently, if we look at this uh, fuse that I've also already uh, located, is it has 12 volts, not currently, but if we switch on the ignition, it will have 12 volts. So that's where we want to put our ignition switch, um, our ignition wire, I mean. So we're going to plug that in there. In actual fact, this leg is the other way around. In this case, this fuse box supplies from the inside. Um, and then you just want to uh, get your ground to any ground area in the car. Maybe that piece of metal over there. This is a nice little uh, area to, to wire it up on. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I've actually have a current ground wire wired up in there. Um, so that is a good location for that. Hi, um, now that we've done the basic wiring of the dash cam, uh, many of you would like to add the relay function to your configuration. So um, just to explain to you how the relay works is it needs a positive common on the yellow wire and then the harness would actually output uh, a common ground uh, once the command is sent from the app. So basically what we want to do is we want to just give this a 12 volt somewhere in your uh, in your fuse box or wherever and then obviously wire the green wire up to the white wire then you want to cut your fuel line uh, and then wire this relay in between that line that you've just cut and then yes that should be it now that we've installed the, the fuse holders into the correct positions uh, we want to just look at the cable so this little orange cable is actually the panic button so yeah, you can just wire that in as an extra feature. You don't need it, need it to have the dash cam working, but it's generally a good, uh, good thing to have. And you can install it in a position like this, like we have done. And then, yeah, let's actually go over to the, the dash cam itself and how to stick it over. So here's the harness now. We wanna uh, actually, I just wanna explain something. So we, uh, generally you want to actually stick that little bracket to the device before you stick it down it will just help you align the the dash cam straight with the windscreen you also want to look you also want to install the device in the middle of your windscreen to get better coverage of the inside and the outside of the vehicle um, then we have an additional input for a backup battery and that backup battery looks like this so we can plug that in like that, we can plug in the harness like that and we can hide the cables or we can do that afterwards but I want to just show you guys the LED indicators so on your, on your first power up you'll need ignition for the device to do its initial power up so we'll just switch on the ignition once we'll wait for it to power up okay so that's a good indication that our wiring has been done correctly Okay, so now that we've done the initial boot of the JC uh, 200 or 400, you wanna just have a look at the LEDs. Um, so the power LED is obvious. If it's on, it has power. 
um, the GPS satellite LED is the green LED. If it's solid, it means you're connected to the GPS satellites. The blue LED, if it's solid, it means you're connected to a GSM network. It does not necessarily mean you have a data connection to the GSM network. It just means that your SIM is, is, is registered in the device and that there's most likely no issue with the SIM. So, but if that blue LED is flashing, it means it's most likely your SIM card that has an issue. It might have a pin on, it might not be recut, it might not be activated from your APN provider. You might not even have configured the APN settings on the device yet. So yeah, that's, that's it. If the green light flashes, you just want to take your device around the block. Um, it just needs to get uh, more GPS satellites for the connection. And yeah.